Welcome back, everybody. My next guest is a co-host of The View, has worked for both MSNBC and Fox News, and, of course, is the daughter of the senior senator from Arizona. Please welcome Megan McCain. <laughs> Nice, this is such nice. a big theater. It is a good theater, isn't it? Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for being here. Now, we've met before. Do you remember being on my old show? Okay, so I was on your show on Comedy Central yeah. when I was very young, about 10 years ago. You're still very young. And I was like 24. Yeah. And for some reason, we ended up talking about abstinence-only education. And yes. in one form or another, I talked about losing my virginity on national television. That's the part I remember. And... <laughs> <laughs> My mother is quite a conservative woman mm -hmm. and was horrified and afterward called me and was like, I did not raise you to speak in such a fashion on national television. Was Stephen Colbert offended? And I was like, I think he's going to be okay. But it has stayed with me forever and I'm talking about it again with you. That is, that is really <laughs> so maybe... conservative because all you did is acknowledge that you had had sex. Yes, I had said something like, I don't want to preach what I don't practice. And you were, and I, I was like, at the moment, I was like, this is terribly uncomfortable. But I now. I think I might have said something like, how much practice have you had? <laughs> like that. Well, yeah. now maybe this will be our tradition, and my parents will be watching tonight, so fantastic to bring this up once again. <laughs> But I'm now I, I'm now a married woman, so maybe oh, maybe it's, it's totally a little fine. Now, yes. now, uh, how is your dad? So my parents right now. My dad is, as everyone probably knows, he is yep. um, he has glioblastoma, glioblastoma multiform yes. grade four, mm -hmm. which is brain cancer, mm -hmm. and he is in Sedona, Arizona, right now at our ranch doing uh, therapy, physical therapy, and he has amazing doctors, and he's doing really well. Mm -hmm. it, he, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, it's a really scary cancer. Yeah. It's a really, really scary cancer. Mm -hmm. And it's been, my family's no different than any other family who has experience with cancer. And mm -hmm. he had a sort of rough time at Christmas and he's made this really crazy, amazing recovery, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised at because he is so resilient in so many different kinda ways. Tough. Yes, he's it's a tough, tough. He's a yeah. tough bastard. So it's nice that he he's doing he's doing well, and I hope he comes back to Washington very soon because I would like to see him go up against Trump a little more. Yeah, so Thank you. So Thank you. Now you're on you're on the View now. I am. And it's so weird. I'm on The View for four months, and I can't believe I'm actually on this show. What's weird about it? Because there's something so... This show's been on 21 years, yeah. and I'm the 21st host, and there's something about this show. I've been on so many shows that people never watched and couldn't figure out what channel it was on. And, like, everyone knows what The View is, <laughs> and being the one conservative on The View has this, like, sort of weird, like, lore to it, and, like, a lot of, like interesting people have like very intense reactions to it people are like i love you on the view or i absolutely hate you and you're ruining my show and it's it's an interesting seat to take over do you feel like a lamb chop in a wolf den <laughs> like... you know i'm really tough and i'm not a i'm not a daisy and i'm not a snowflake and i can handle it do you but... feel more conservative now that you're among non-conservatives well i worked at fox for years and when you're in the fox echo chamber and you're surrounded by conservatives you're 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 like in this like very warm bubble and you're like oh every Everyone feels this way, and it's not that I didn't know people were liberal, but I didn't know people were like quite as liberal as Joy Behar. And every morning, it's kind of like, why are all Republicans racist Nazis? And I'm like, well, I haven't had my latte yet, and maybe we can talk about something else. But and I, I actually really like her; she's lovely. But it's a really interesting experience, especially in the Trump era. Now, uh, you had Joe Biden on uh, a little while ago, whose son Bo had the same type of cancer that your father has, and he, you, you, the two had a wonderful exchange. Do you, are you close with uh, Vice President Biden? So Vice President Biden has known my parents for like 30-something years. They came up together in politics. And I ended up crying on national television, which I have a cold, dark heart, and I never cry, I, hardly ever. So I, it was a weird experience at the time because it was right before Christmas, and my father was actually in the hospital, and people mm -hmm. didn't know it mm -hmm. at the time. And his son, it's very strange. Uh, Senator Ted Kennedy was a good friend of my father, had glioblastoma. Bo Biden had glioblastoma. And there's something about Joe Biden that if he ends up running for president, I am totally because I love him and he's such a warm, wonderful man and I can call him at any time when I'm feeling overwhelmed by cancer and he, I can't express to you and to everyone in here what 
his support and his love of him and his family has meant to me at this moment because it's a cancer scary and having someone like him who's been through so much tragedy to empathize and actually give his time especially because he's one of the most powerful people on the planet has right, been. he's a very kind and grounding figure yes if you were to run in 2020 would you be a little democrat curious would you <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I am. I disagree with his politics, like seventy-five percent. But mm -hmm. his, I, he, I have cried to him on multiple occasions about cancer. So I would, I would have a very, very difficult time. And he's never talked crap about my dad's service. So that certainly gives him a leg up as yeah, well. Yeah, it sure does. It sure does. <laughs> now you've got. I want to say, uh, as you said, as you said earlier, uh, that uh, you're a married woman now, and just recently you got to share this moment. Yes. With your father, may I show this photo? Thank you. That's this my new great. husband, Ben, who's backstage. Yeah, Ben Dominic. Yes. And there's John and Cindy McCain right yes, there. Thank you. This is just right before the holidays. It's so lovely. Thank you. And I understand. I've been told that a member of the CBS family yes. uh, performed the ceremony. Was it Tom Selleck? Who was it? <laughs> It was actually John Dickerson who hosted Face the Nation and now hosts the CBS Morning Show. And he's such a wonderful man. He covered my father's election in 2000 mm -hmm. when I was 13, and I knew him then. And my husband goes on Face the Nation all the time, mm -hmm. and he did such I a saw wonderful. Him just two weeks ago on Face the Nation. He's exactly. John Dickerson of all the journalists in D.C. He is is the warmest, loveliest man of integrity I've ever known in politics and it was such an honor to have him marry me and my husband. Did he do anything unusual? Like did he did he free ball it at all or did he just stick nobody, to the book of common prayer? Nobody he... drank a lot during the reception, which I was happy about. And better uh, than drinking before the ceremony. <laughs> yeah. We wanted the we I wanted like a really country like just everybody like sort of drink a lot of whiskey and eat a lot of bison experience. I don't like I'm sorry, weddings. Go back. What was that second part? Eat a lot of bison. Eat a lot of bison. Yeah, okay. I like game. Like I'm mm -hmm. you know I'm from Arizona so sure. I like game. Was it a pick your own or like can I shoot that one? <laughs> yeah we shot Stop everything it. right before the wedding. But I actually am not like a marriage person uh, I never thought I would get married so I wanted the wedding just to be like a drunk party and I didn't want anyone we I didn't throw a bouquet I didn't I I was so bored by the whole thing I didn't like picking out my wedding dress I was like let's just have a good time like and you know we I now, the right. funny thing is that marriage and the family unit and the nuclear family, that's those very conservative ideals. Mm -hmm. why, why is that not part of your conservative vision for yourself? I'm so independent and I'm so sort of like alpha and I never thought I would find someone that I wanted to, I don't know, do life with. But all the old cliches when you meet somebody and... Do life, that sounds like a sentence. Do life with. Do life with. I sentence you to life with Ben Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Thank Give you our for best to your parents. Thank you. Hope your dad as well. Thank you. The View airs weekdays on ABC. Megan McCain, everybody.